Hello guys, welcome to my channel Moodle Arjun. My name is Arjun and today I'm going to show you how to install Moodle in a Linux machine. First of all, you should know about Moodle. If you don't, you can visit moodle.org and read the documentation, browse the features, what exactly this LMS is all about. Like I'm showing on the screen. So that's a separate video I'm going to post later. Right now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Moodle. So on the download tab, if you click, you can see the latest release versions. Like eventually they will release on a month or two. And right now the latest version is 3.11. So we must know what exactly I'm version PHP version and MySQL version I'm using. So in my system, it's 7.2 and MySQL version I have 5.7. So you should check before the installation what version of PHP and what version of MySQL you are using. I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS version. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to install Moodle on a Windows machine. So, PHP 7.2 version supports 3.10.4. So, I'm going to install this 3.10.4 Moodle zip file and I'll show you how to install Moodle on a local host. If you want to read it more, if you have not clear, you can just check on these links, check the hardware and software prerequisite before installing Moodle onto your system. So they have given very nice documentation. There are other ways to do it. So you can just follow mine or you can just read about this documentation furthermore. Meanwhile, our package get downloaded. Let us check what exactly we have done our setup before. So once you have an Apache installed, PHP installed, MySQL installed, where exactly you validate so inside var folder www folder and then we have a html folder there you place your code i mean the folder the project folder just to test i have just written a test.php file i'm just echoing a php info method just to see whether apache configuration has been set properly or not so right now you can see on the screen display php info now let's check localhost slash php my admin just to make sure our mysql also in the right place so am i using php my admin you can use any other mysql interface to see all first of all what we are going to do is we should have our database so i'm going to create a db for us that will be used when we are installing Moodle 3.10. So we have database Moodle 3104 Moodle DB. Right now there won't be any tables because the installation is not done. We'll wait for the package to download. It might take some time depending on your internet speed. Now it's been almost downloaded. I'm going to unzip it and place into the right directory. And then we'll begin the installation. Now our package has been downloaded and I'm going to show you how does it look like. This is the zip package and I'm going to copy it first and place inside my HTML folder 
and then I am going to extract it here. You can delete the zip package that is not needed anymore once it has been extracted successfully. Now once you extract it, you will have Moodle folder made inside it. You can just cut from here, paste it in the front and then delete the Moodle 1.0 10.4 package that is not needed anymore. Now we have a setup of code, you can just rename it as per your wish, you can just let it be. I am going to rename it as Moodle 3104. That's it. Now I am going to show you how to install. This would be the directory structure of a Moodle package. You can check the version whether it is correct or not by clicking on the version.php on the root folder. Now let us jump back to the localhost. Refresh it once you will get the package listed over here Moodle 3104. Once you click it, you will have this interface which asks you to select a language. I have selected English and then proceed with the installation. This screen shows you what exactly path you are going to use for the data directory and the actual root folder. So web address and Moodle directory you cannot change it because that is the where your code resides. You can change the data directory path. So for that I have created a data folders, a custom folder where I will be keeping all my installation data directories which is in my home folder like this. You can check the permission, usually it should have 755 permission. It should be writable basically. Let us go back. So, my data directory path becomes home slash Arjun, my name, Moodle, that is a directory, data folders, and then the name. The name can be anything. Now, on the next screen, we have an option to select the database driver. Depending on the version and the requisite, you can select. Generally, we do MySQLi. It is already selected, you just need to click on the next button and proceed with the installation. On the next page, you will see the database settings which will ask you the name of the DB. So, you can just put it over here Moodle DB3104 which we have already created 5 minutes back. Put the username and the password, keep the table as it is. And the other two options of port, socket, you can just leave it optional. Then it will detect and create your config.php file. So basically it does not create it by own, so we need to create it manually. Just copy the code from here, paste it in any editor and save it as config.php file on the root folder of your package. You can just read the information given over here, CFG DB type, CFG DB host and other informations, www root and data root. Just to be sure, it is all in the right path. Once this is done, you can just click on the next button and proceed with the installation. what happens actually here is the system detects what are the packages available in the Moodle package which we are going to install. Before that it will ask you just to license terms. There is nothing to do here you can just confirm and proceed with the installation. This page tells you what are the PHP extensions needed for this setup to be proceed. Played with. If you are missing any of the PHP extensions, you can go back, install the PHP extension, come back to this page and then refresh the page. If everything is green and okay 
and the button appears then that means you can proceed with the installation we are installing 3.10.4 our server check system check is good so now the system is installing all the plugins which comes with the package as a default this is going to take some time approx 10 to 15 minutes meanwhile it installs all the packages and all you can go grab a ring or grab a byte and come back i'm going to just wait here and see all the packages are installed successfully So as you can see we are almost done with the package installation and we are going to just click on the continue button to move on to the next setup which will be basically a user creation and the front page setup is going to take some few seconds then it will load the user creation page so the first user you have to create is as an admin who will have all the control over the site ranging from all the site administration user creation and everything else so just put an username as per your wish a simple password and all the compulsory fields which is marked as red put an email as something it might not be the real email id when just i'm just putting it as admin user at gmail.com which could be valid which could not be valid depends other fields you can just leave it as upon those are optional city and time zone you can select as per your current location these are additional names if you want to give it or you can just come back another time log into the profile of admin and you can do all these setups later on so i'm just going to skip those fields and move on to the next page once you click on the upgrade profile it will take you to the next page of installation which is nothing but a front page settings you need to give a name for the website i'm putting over here as a moodle 3104 you can give it a short name and some summary since it's a local host i'm just going to put some raw data i'm going to choose my default time zone and i'm going to enable a self registration module as well and in no reply address just don't leave it as it is it will keep on asking you can give anything the same which we have used for the admin profile email id and we are done save changes and we are all set to use the new moodle installation website on our local host this is how it's going to look the first time when you have a successful installation of any moodle package on the navigation on the left you can see at the dashboard site home menu options calendar private files content bag and most important there is a site administration where you can control all the settings all the look and feel customizations from this page itself so i would suggest you go and explore all these features and do check our other videos for moodle features and development 
just to be sure our environment is correct and running properly we will have a check on the environment settings these are the extension which has been used for our installation and the version is 3.1.10.4 Now I'm just going to log out of this system and show you how exactly the login page looks like. Before that, just have a look at the profile page of admin. Also the list of users, which is generally at this stage, we have just one user as an admin. You can get many more. Now let's log out and show you the login page. This will be the front page nothing is there you can install a theme and set up and do all the activities over here thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video click on the like button below and also please subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries do put them in a comment box we'll surely get back to you with our thoughts thank you again